What's up, ballers? It's Bobby Buckets back with another episode of NBA Live Mobile. And as is the usual, I'm having some more def technical difficulties today. So my laptop actually decided it was going to completely quit on me last night, so it won't even turn on. So don't have a whole lot of options for editing videos right now, but it is Team of the Week, so I wanted to get some stuff out to you guys as soon as possible. Uh, also, my sponsor is having a special sale on coins, so I believe it's a dollar per million coins, which is ridiculous. And also, if you use the code Bobby, it's now 5% off instead of 3% off. So make sure to click that link down in the description and go and check them out. But anyway, we're going to be jumping into packs. We've got a new 94 Devin Booker in packs today, and I'm hoping we can pull him. Obviously, we also have the Hero of the Month, 97 Damian Lillard. We'll take a look at both of them at the end of the video, but right now going to go ahead and open up these Team of the Week packs. Haven't pulled the Team of the Week player out of these yet, but there's a first time for everything. So hopefully our pack luck will change. Right now it's looking like it's going to stay about the same, but you never know. Pack luck could always, oh my goodness, got my hopes up. Definitely thought that that was an elite player, but it was just a collectible right there. All right, lots and lots of Ian Mahinami today. Hopefully we can get at least one elite out of these. Gary Harris and Jameer Nelson, come on. Just give me one, please. All right, another Ian Mahinami. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the new Devin Booker. I'm not sure if you can even make the new Damian Lillard yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure he'll become available at 8 o'clock. Um, since... You need the Team of the Week collectible in order to make the final player. Uh, Devin, there's <clears throat> there's no Devins, really? Oh, wait, maybe it's with an O. I bet that's what it is. No, what? What is this? All right, Booker, come on. Come on, don't do this to me. All right, there we go. And I believe he is a 94. Oh, goodness gracious. Why is this not working? This is obnoxious. Okay. There we go. New Devin Booker. I'm not sure why he's a point guard. He's supposed to be a shooting guard. He's got some nice stats. 92 three-pointer, 87 shooting, 88 dribbling, 87 speed, 74 defense, 86 passing. I saw people complaining about his stats earlier, and I'm not really sure why, because that is a nice card in my opinion. Um, I hope that I pull him. I would definitely put him in my lineup over, I believe I have Darren Williams right now. So we're going to hop back to the store, open up some Pro Packs. Hopefully our pack look finally changes. Pro Packs have not been great for us recently. We started off with the Reggie Jackson, uh, but I've got a bunch of content planned to come out for you guys. So I'm going to try to do gameplay with a new Damian Lillard, gameplay with Devin Booker. And also I've been in the process of selling my bench, um, and I've actually sold it multiple times over the course of the past couple weeks. So... We're going to be collecting a ton of coins. I'm excited to see how many we can get, um, but I honestly have no idea. There are so many elites and quite a few golds that I've uh, ended up selling, so hopefully we can get some nice coins out of that. I'm definitely going to have all the coins that I need to get that Damian Lillard, especially since I bought all the other three elite players last night before the prices shot up. So I'm excited to play with that card. 97 is... I think that's like the second highest card in the game now outside of the League versus League Masters. Um, so there's 98 cards, but you have to put every single League versus League card into the set in order to get them, so it's barely worth it. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited to play with that. The only one that would be better that you can get like without an insane amount of grinding is the... Hey, there we go. We finally get, finally get an Elite, a Russell Westbrook. Um, Kevin Durant, obviously the one card that would be better than that Damian Lillard. But as of right now, we haven't had any programs that give out uh, 97 or better cards. So I'm pretty excited to play with that. It also means I'm pretty sure they're going up by one overall every single week, which means by the end of May, we will have 99 overall Hero of the Month cards, which is exciting. I'm looking forward to having more uh, 99 overall cards in the game, and obviously that's going to happen more as the playoffs get started, as the finals happen, that kind of thing. Uh, but that should be exciting. We are not getting a whole lot out of these pro packs right now. They have just not, like all the packs, honestly, have not been good to me recently. Uh, if you guys watched my pack wars yesterday with the 88 
overall throwbacks and the 89 overall uh, campus heroes, you know that I pulled a whole lot of trash out of those. So I pulled like one good card. I pulled a Doug McDermott at the very end. But recently, packs have just not been very good. Uh, so I'm probably just going to keep sticking with buying coins because if I can't get, get good players out of packs, then uh, I'm just losing so many coins just by opening packs. And also, it's a pain in the butt to have to sell all of these. So hopefully our pack luck turns around in this video, but it looks like we're getting nothing but golds. We pulled one elite so far, and my face cam on my tablet is currently over the coin counter so i actually have no idea how many coins i've spent uh man i would really like to pull that devin booker or at least a collectible for him now obviously the collectible is going to be pretty cheap uh since you do have i believe we'll have this set where you can get the um team of the week devin booker team of the week collectible for relatively cheap you just have to exchange some team of the week players so I'm most likely going to end up doing that after I get done recording this video. And then I'll try to get that. Oh, wait. No, it's not going to be the Devin Booker collectible. It'll be whoever the set player is. I actually did not check who that was. Wait, I feel like I checked who it was. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Um, but I'll try to get him as soon as possible so that we can get some Damian Lillard gameplay out to you guys. Trying to think who in my lineup. I think he's going to be replacing 93 uh, James Harden. That, yeah, 93 James Harden from the All-Star program. So that's going to be a pretty big improvement for overall, especially whenever most of my players are 93 and below. That's going to be a huge boost to my lineup. And it looks like currently packs are still trash. Come on, EA, please just... Just give me some base elites. Like, I'm not asking for a lot right now. I'm just asking for base elites, and I can't get anything above, like, a 76 outside of that uh, Team of the Week player that I just now pulled. Dirk Nowitzki right there. Um, if you guys get Devin Booker out of these packs, let me know. I will... Um, <laughs> I'll give you guys a shout-out. There we go. Finally, we get a throwback Wesley Matthews. Nothing amazing, but it's better than what we've been getting. Um, yeah, I would really like to see people pull in this Devin Booker. And I would really like to see EA change the pack odds back because I feel like nobody likes opening packs anymore just because they've ruined the pack odds so much. It's like one elite every 500k, or at least that's what it seems like for me. Um, obviously, they could have, like, for some reason changed my pack odds or something, but... We get a scale of BCR right there. Uh, I'm probably going to be throwing most of these Team of the Week players into that set so that we can get that collectible for Damian Lillard. I'm probably, you know what, I'm going to try to pull at least two more elites. I don't want this to just be <laughs> another one of those videos where I go the whole thing and pull like an Anthony Davis and that's it. Oh my goodness. When I look at my beard from the side in the camera, it looks way worse. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I really want to shave it. And we're probably about to get a network timeout right now, which is solid because I can't edit it out because my laptop is broken. All right, so while we wait for the network timeout, I'll fix my beard, try to make it look less... Uh, I don't know what the word for it is. Scrappy? I don't know. What would you say? <laughs> I'm not doing a live stream. You guys can't answer what my beard looks like. Okay, back to the store. Come on, EA. Give me something, please. Yes? Oh, Andre Iguodala. Okay. Um, but yeah, Devin Booker did get a Team of the Week player. Obviously, I'm pretty sure just about everybody expected it to be him, considering he dropped 70 points the other night, so I'm also probably going to be doing some sort of 70-point challenge in the future. Um Probably tomorrow because there's gonna be there's just gonna be so much content to get out to you guys today. I don't want to quadruple upload today and then have like no uploads tomorrow. So I'm gonna try to space it out a little bit, but keep an eye out for that. Especially since I do still have that partnership with BBTV, which means that I can use EA footage in my videos. Hey, there we go. We get a Matt Barnes right there that sells for about the price of Elite. Actually, a little bit more than a base Elite, so that's not bad. Get a Dwight Howard. Come on, where 
<laughs> there we go. Right as I'm saying, where are the elites? We get a Kevin Durant. All right, that's what we needed. Come on. Let's start to heat up now. We get a Matt Barnes. We get a Kevin Durant. Next is Devin Booker. Urgh, maybe not. It's all right. It's all right. We're going to we're gonna gonna persevere through. I believe that he's in here somewhere. They've got to re reward me eventually. I've opened so many packs. Like going back through all of my pack openings for the... Uh, when I made the video, which was... Basically, a pack opening every day for a year or something. Or no, every week for a year. Uh, and it was all these different packs. The only Team of the Week player that I have ever pulled is Team of the Week Clay. And that was, I believe it was during the Christmas event. I know because uh, when I pulled him, it had those little snowflakes on the screen. Um, so it has been a solid four months since I pulled a Team of the Week player. I would really like to see that change. Maybe three months, I don't know. Either way, that's a ridiculously long time, especially considering the fact that I open at least a million coins worth of packs every time we have a new Team of the Week player. So EA's got to reward me eventually. We can't just keep on going with no elites. Well, we can keep going with no elites, but I want that Devin Booker <laughs> Zaza Pachulia, not what I'm looking for. All right, EA, quit playing games and just just toss me Devin Booker. Just toss him over this way. I will be thankful. I'll give you a shout-out in my video and everything. Even though you did make the game, I will still give you a shout-out. And he's probably just not in my packs. Maybe they, like... Maybe since I left EA, they put some kind of ban on my account, making it impossible to pull a Team of the Week card. Or maybe they changed my pack odds or something. I don't know. If you guys pulled him, let me know because it seems like I always get so many comments about people that open like two packs and then they get a Devin Booker. Or uh, what was it? Last week was LeBron James. Like, I opened two packs and I got a LeBron James. I'm like, I opened well over 150 packs and didn't get squat. <laughs> like last week, I think I opened 1.5 million coins worth. And got, I think my best pull was an 85 Anthony Davis, which is just kind of insane to think about. Like, that's basically the same odds as it was when they very first made the game, and I was super hyped that I could pull a Chris Paul out of packs. <laughs> um, so, hopefully, they change that soon because opening packs is usually, it used to be one of my favorite parts of the game, and now I'm just like, I want to open packs because I want to hope that EA's changed the odds, but there was like a t time period earlier this year where they changed the pack odds a ton, and you could pull so many elites, like I probably pulled, I would pull like 12 elites per pack opening, and now obviously that's going to drop the price of them because it's going to increase the number of those in the market, but either way, that's still like, it's still more fun. I would rather have a lot of elites in the pack and maybe have the market prices lower than have no elites in the packs and have like maybe a more stable market price. And I think part of it is due to the fact that they want people to open their bundles because right now it seems like bundle toppers are the only thing that you can get good in regards to packs, um, which is just kind of ridiculous to me. Like cheapest bundle is usually 20 bucks. Um, most people won't spend more than like 60 bucks on a console video game. And if you want to get a good bundle, you got to spend $75. And you got to do it over and over and over again, which is just kind of insane to think about. Uh, so I hope they do consider changing the pack odds sometime soon because I know people like watching pack openings. But honestly, if I was watching this pack opening, I probably would have left by now because these packs are just like straight up trash. Like there's there just doesn't seem to be anything good in them. Um, we get Alec Burks, <laughs> like 73 to 77 seems like the only thing that I can possibly pull. Like I get surprised whenever I pull an 83 and those are only worth like 7k. Um, so we're probably going to end this pack opening soon. I think we're, we're going to end it with what? Three elites. I would like to, uh, have a screenshot of an elite to put on the cover. Hey, there we go. Right. As I request that <laughs> we do get an elite that we can put on the cover. Um, so obviously I don't have my tablet, so I can't make thumbnails. Oh my gosh, can I not take a screenshot right now? Oh wait, okay. Now it's gonna 
do like a bunch of consecutive screenshots because for some reason there's like a huge lag. Um, but yeah, just a little bit disappointed in packs right now. Hopefully that'll change sometime soon, but we do get a Tyus Jones right there. That'll sell for a good bit as the price of those uh, Mobile Madness Elite players keeps on going up, leading up to the final four games. So I'm sure the prices will drop drastically um, on that day and then start to go back up right before the uh, finals game. So hopefully we get some 96 and 97 players out of that. But we're probably going to be ending this pack opening soon because the force does not seem to be with us or the pack luck or whatever you want to call it you know what we'll give it we'll give it a couple tactics see if those work this is going to look weird because my camera's on my tablet nose tactic nothing good in there we get a matt barnes <laughs> probably the scariest person in the nba we got an elbow tactic greg monroe right there and we'll give it a no look to finish it off See if we can clutch it out. Probably not, but you never know. Devin Booker, are you in there? No, he is not. John Lure. All right. Well, that's going to be about it for this episode. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, we get some better pack luck in the future because it is not here right now. Uh, but please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time.